Hello students, let us start uh, digital signal processing. I will be covering in today's video lecture the basics of discrete Fourier transform DFT. Let us understand the concept first. Uh, discrete Fourier transform. What exactly is discrete Fourier transform or in short DFT. Let us understand this concept first. Let us have a discrete finite signal X of n. What is the shape of X of n? X of n is discrete and finite. For example, it is simply 1, 2 and 3. Let us consider this as our discrete time domain signal discrete time domain signal when i take this into frequency domain when i take this into frequency domain frequency domain how i take this x of n into frequency domain by applying fourier transform when i take this into frequency domain it becomes x of omega or it is also called as dtft discrete time Fourier transform. That means discrete signal was there. It is converted into Fourier transform. What is the shape of X of omega in frequency domain? See, let me draw the shape of X of omega in frequency domain. Now this is in time domain. N is time here. Now I am taking it into frequency or omega. Hmm? What is the shape of this? Let me draw the shape of this uh, uh, this DTFT. See, it may be any shape, but I just draw arbitrarily like this. A sort of a sign I have drawn. Hmm? Now, this signal, we have to notice two things. It is continuous with respect to frequency. It is continuous with respect to frequency. That means, see, it is continuous. It was discrete here, it is continuous. And as well as it is periodic. Periodic means it is periodic. It is repeating itself uh, after 2 pi periods. See, after 2 pi periods, it is repeating itself. Okay, that's what is the characteristic of uh, frequency domain signal. If I see the characteristic, first in time domain, it was discrete. Second, it was finite. Here in frequency domain, it became continuous as well as periodic. It was finite and a periodic here. Here it is periodic. This is the difference between a finite signal when it is taken into frequency domain. Now we will be dealing with this signal. This signal in the sense discrete time Fourier transform DTFT signal uh, I will, we will be dealing so as to derive out DFT formula. Let us see that now. I will consider X of omega in detail and elaborate that. See, I just took. It is omega in frequency. The same I am drawing. Same I am drawing. Now, one period I took. That means 2 pi. Hmm? And I just discretize this, discretize this, this x of omega, whatever is there, you know, I discretize this or sampled it. This continuous signal in frequency domain, I sampled. Sampled means I took first sample, I took second sample, I took third sample, I took fourth sample. Over one period, like this, I took n samples. Try to understand this. I took n samples over one period. Sampling for one period is enough. I just took n samples out of this continuous frequency domain signal. The same figure I have drawn here. Continuous frequency domain signal. N samples I took. Now, the distance between two samples here, hmm, two samples here is 2 pi divided by n because 2 pi was the period and n samples were there. Hence, the distance between two samples is 2 pi by n. Isn't it? Now, let us uh, derive of the DFT formula. Hmm? 
DFT formula. I will just derive it here. Uh, I hope you understood what I did in the case of frequency domain signal. I just took the samples out of it. Now let us uh, observe the formula. How to derive the DFT formula? DFT formula. Okay, this is very important. You should know this DFT formula. Now how to derive DFT formula? See, let us consider x of omega. x of omega is given by summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j omega n okay omega n now what is omega frequency domain signal which is continuous but what i did here i just sampled it now when i sampled it now omega become omega become equal to 2 pi divided by n and at any kth sample it became 2 pi by n into k that k is any general number. Say if this is k, no, it becomes 2 pi by n into k. Hmm? That number, k is a number like 0, 1, 2, 3, like this, n minus 1. k is any number. Hence, the omega k or the kth sample can be given by 2 pi by n into k. Hence, the above formula, I am just taking it into new dimension or sampled version of that. That is nothing but x. 2 pi by n into k which is equal to which is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi by n into k into n but this I will not write like this because it is a sample hence x of k is equal to summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi by n into k n. This formula is called as DFT formula. Okay. This is DFT formula which is very fundamental formula. This is very important. Further, right from this today's first class till the last class, we will be dealing with this formula in different ways. Hmm? Here, this is the time domain signal and this is it called as twiddle factor. Hmm? This is called as a twiddle factor. I will explain about twiddle factor in the next uh, session. Okay. Uh, but today's small session what I dealt now is only dealing with this formula x of k and the concept. Try to understand this concept. Concept is very simple. The time domain signal which was discrete and finite and aperiodic is taken into frequency domain. When it came to frequency domain, it became continuous with respect to frequency. That frequency domain signal, I just sampled it. That sample signal formula is this. That sample signal formula is nothing but the discrete Fourier transform. Discrete Fourier transform. Okay. The DFT formula is this. You should know this. Thank you.